Five quick ways to improve employee retention in 2022. Are you struggling with employee retention? We've pulled together these five tips to help you both better understand and do something about it quickly. Tip one, understand the new environment. Most don't. The first step to solving a problem is understanding why it's happening. Two major shifts have been going on in recent years, one of which was accelerated by the COVID-19 pandemic. The job landscape has changed. In May 2022, the BBC reported that for the first time since records began, there were more job vacancies than unemployed people in the UK. Employees have a wide variety of jobs available to them, so if they don't enjoy yours, regardless of pay and benefits, they'll be looking elsewhere. And number two, the mind of the employee has changed. On the whole, Brits have always been known to be hardworking and loyal to their companies. We prioritise careers and happily work overtime. However, the new generations are showing an increasing focus on health, meaningful work, values and work-life balance. Here's the good news. If you reshift your focus to how you structure and communicate your job roles, people will not only stick around, they'll go above and beyond to make your business as successful as it can be. Tip two, improve productivity and retention through the Objectives Key Results Framework. As I have mentioned, people want meaningful work. They also want to know they belong, they're valued, and they're making a difference. A great system that perfectly addresses this is the Objectives Key Results system created by John Doer and utilized by Google when they only had 40 employees but still do today. OKRs change the dynamic. Your leadership team will still come up with a strategy, but that strategy is clearly communicated yearly through three to five objectives. These objectives are then passed down to teams and the teams decide how those objectives will be pursued. This way, instead of employees receiving to-do lists, which doesn't excite anybody, they receive a challenge and get to actively contribute to how that challenge should be approached. Tip three, make one of your manager's top three priorities the development and retention of good teams. Being a manager can be a tough gig. Senior leadership teams' ultimate roles are to create strategic direction. Employees' ultimate roles are to do a good job. A manager's role is to try and please look after and support both of those parties as well as producing work. But as the saying goes, people don't quit their jobs, they quit their managers. A manager's role in 2022 and beyond is really to develop and retain a great team. Make this easy for them by explicitly lining this out as one of their top three priorities. Tip four, measure what matters. Measure what matters, what gets measured gets improved, what gets measured gets managed. In the old environment where people were desperate for jobs and fearful of unemployment, employee happiness levels didn't matter. Today, that's different. Today, if your employees aren't happy, they will at least not be very productive and at worst leave or stay and make your life a misery. You have to track the happiness of your employees and this needs to be done anonymously. Here are four simple questions you can ask your people today that will give you data and valuable insights into what's going on with your people. Number one, how happy are you at work? Two, will you still be here in 12 months? Three, what do you love about here? And four, what can we do better? Tip five, create an employee newsletter. I don't care what business you're in, it's stressful. The nature of business is solving problems and those problems never go away. That's what business is all about. The issue is you can get so focused on all of the problems all of the time, you forget to celebrate the good stuff. The human mind needs regular reminders to be positive. Again, your business, I don't care what it is, has tons of positive things happening every day and week. A monthly or quarterly employee newsletter is a fantastic way to keep people focused on the positives. Some some things you could include are company achievements, employee achievements, training being provided, improvements you have made in the business for the employees, and a word from the CEO. Conclusion. People will no longer settle for a job just because it provides security. People will and are taking pay cuts for more engaging jobs. If you need great people that stick around in 2022 and beyond, you have to create an engaging workplace. Any business can achieve this with focus and consistency. These five steps are easy to implement and cost nothing. Get started today. Want awesome levels of retention in your business? Take our free two-minute scorecard and find out your best next steps right away at betterhappy.co.uk.